I started my college career when I was 13 and then I started medical school at 17. And I have to tell you that one of the things that really got me through all of those you know, tough years, uh, including residency is music. So in my downtime, I, I play a lot of guitar and, and drums with my kids. So we have a little family jam band that we play with on weekends. Family is just essential when it comes to my day-to-day -day practice. And I think that it really gives me a sense of importance as I look to my patients and what they're contending with and, and what they're looking forward to developing in terms of experiences with their own families. Uh, I look at the precious times I've had with my son who's eight, my daughter who's six, and I think, gosh, I wanna make sure that every patient in my practice has the opportunity to have these same sorts of really uh, thoughtful and, and, and really meaningful interactions. The, the doctor-patient relationship that forms at a place like City of Hope is so different from, I think, at other institutions. I, I would propose that at City of Hope, there's really an opportunity for doctors and patients to intermingle, to become family with one another, as I have with many of the patients in my practice. And I think of a scenario, for instance, a patient of mine with advanced kidney cancer. I got to know him about a decade ago. Um, and at that point in time, we were facing a prospect of maybe a, a year's worth of survival. You know, ultimately he's lived for more than a decade. And in the process, I've had his kids work with me in the clinic. They've actually become doctors themselves. They've graduated from residency. And it's just amazing that he's still here to enjoy and appreciate that. It's just such a rewarding feeling. I think that's really what pulls me into the practice every day.